Hello everyone and welcome back to Nutri-Fruity and Lifestyle. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm in my kitchen right now. Um, last year I started, I think it was last year because you know I'm so inconsistent with social media. <laughs> but I'm getting back and I'm trying to do more recipes. I'm in my kitchen right now. I'm getting ready to bake a blueberry oat bar. And I saw this, well, the original recipe was um, for, was it a chocolate oat bar? I'm not sure what it was, but I didn't have it, so I had to switch up. I can't remember what it was, which is bad. I'll put it down here somewhere, what the original recipe was, but I switched it to blueberry. So um, basically, it's a blueberry oat bar recipe. You can have it for breakfast. If you have kids, they might like it. You can give it to your kids. And it's a great way for them to um, get their fruit intakes in, especially if your kids don't like to eat fruits or vegetables like mine he does. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try out this recipe. I saw it on Instagram. And what I was saying was that I used to have a series called Let Me Try This that I was starting on... Um, YouTube shorts and I'm gonna probably get back to it but basically it was a matter of like I'm always looking at food recipes and a lot of these recipes are good because like me for myself I would say I'm not the best at coming up with like food recipes off of the top of my head or things like that or even getting really creative with the food is not one of my like strong suits but I see so much things that are, look so good on Instagram and my friend Monique, hey Monique, always sends So my friend Monique always sends me food recipes and we kind of go back and forth and I'm like, are you going to try this? And she's like, I'm going to try this. And we're like, okay, I'm going to try this too. So yeah, and, I, and for the both of us, we've been just kind of looking to like transition to like a healthier way of eating sweets or snacks because as you know, a lot of the stuff around now it's just filled with so much processed chemicals or high fructose corn syrup and things of that nature corn syrup solids however they want to label it a lot of the ingredients that we eat in our day-to-day -day sweets are not good so you want to find a healthier alternative to making sweets so that's my goal this year because i do have a sweet tooth and i'm not trying to go crazy with sugar this year and things like that because I really want to have the weight loss because as we know sugar is a drug that we're all addicted to and this is the reason why we have a lot of um, chronic illnesses um, that mainly stem from our sugar intake our processed food intake but sugar being high at the list because a lot of us like sweets so yes we're gonna start off with this blueberry oat bar so I'm gonna share the ingredients with you so you do need two ripened medium bananas mashed and i can't find my vanilla extract so i'm going to be using almond extract um it did call for date syrup so and the recipe was a little bit weird because it was giving some of the things in gram so i'm like i hope i did the conversion right but for the date syrup i'm using one fourth cup and I mixed the date syrup with agave for sweetness. I'm doing two cups of oats and it called for, and it called for oat milk but I'm gonna be using almond milk one cup and I hope I was correct on those um, on that as well because it was in grams also so um, and then two tablespoons of baking powder and then one teaspoon of cinnamon and it's the Ceylon cinnamon so you got a lot of good health benefits from and if you watch the Jen Jones you know she's heavy on the Ceylon cinnamon and I think oh and then the last but not least is the blueberries and I think that's it. So it's a very simple um, recipe because all you have to do is really blend all of the ingredients together with the exception of the blueberries and that goes in last. And then I think you just bake it for five minutes. So 
nice try all right so i got my ninja i'm gonna be throwing all the ingredients in so i'm gonna do the one cup of almond milk but again you can use oat milk because that's what it really calls for and then i got two cups of oat milk i'm using a uh, quaker oats old-fashioned Ooh, I hope this blends well. And then I'm going to grab the date syrup and the agave mixture. 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 <laughs> okay. You know when you just want to get all the sauce. Every little drop of it. And then I'm going to get the Ceylon cinnamon. the two tablespoons of the baking powder this is my stuff in the back of the coughing and last but not least is the almond extract I'm just gonna do a cap full of it because it's pretty strong you get a good flavor maybe two capfuls <laughs> one more and then I'm gonna put the top to my ninja on and get ready to blend it up. And then I gotta get the, um, oh no. Okay, there we go. And then I gotta get the cake pan. It's like a cake pan or a square pan. And you line it with parchment paper and you bake. All right, we're blending. <laughs> started already <laughs> all right thumbs up all right and now I have my like square pan and I lined it with parchment paper and I'm holding it down so it doesn't lift up and I'm going to pour the mixture that I just blended in there. And I hope this comes out good. That's what that's looking like and I'm gonna add in the blueberries I don't know I'm a little bit tempted to add in a little bit of chocolate chips so let me see what I got left like now I want a little bit of chocolate chips just a little bit this is Gardelli by the way but um to get like some vegan chocolate chip so our deli is not like vegan or anything but this is i'm just gonna add a few in there because yeah that's what the recipe oh now i remember the recipe was supposed to be um banana and raspberry oat bars and then i changed it to blueberry because um i went to the, we went to the market and we couldn't find um any uh we couldn't find any raspberries so that's what happened i was trying to figure out what was the story <laughs> yeah so i was like um are raspberries out of season right now i don't think they are okay so it's gonna be a blueberry with a few chocolate chips in. that's my tablet <laughs> okay the chocolate chips are in And of course, I'm tasting it. Blueberries are already rinsed off. By the way, I love blueberries. Blueberries have so many health benefits. As you guys already know, blueberries are like a superfood. 
I love, love, love blueberries and all the benefits that they come with. And I'll leave that on the side of the screen just in case you want to see the extra benefits that you get from eating blueberries and berries just in general. All right. And for chocolate, really, if you want a healthier chocolate, they say that dark chocolate is the one that you get the most um, better health benefits from. Um, dark chocolate, I don't mind eating dark chocolate because I just like chocolate in general. Mostly chocolate candies, like chocolate bars. But I don't, I like vanilla for, for a lot of things now. But um, yeah, I'm getting used to dark chocolate. I don't mind it here and there. So we're throwing in blueberries. We're gonna get in as much. I really hope that my son will try this. The great thing about blueberries, I don't know if I should have mashed them too with the banana because that's what the recipe actually did. They mashed the raspberries. So I'm just, I'm not gonna hide the blueberries so they really cook in there and push them down. All right, this is how it's looking. And I'm gonna put it in the oven. So I'll see you in like five to 10 minutes. Bye. This is how it looks. So amazing. Cut it up. Here's the final look. 